Hello all, Shedwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Blowout from 1981. It's directed by Brian De Palma and stars John Travolta and Nancy Allen. Ah, our first Brian De Palma film. Although I love his films, shockingly, I don't own a lot of them. This might change during our journey together, dear viewers. For example, since the review of Antichrist, I have procured several of the Lars von Trier films I love from my collection. This isn't my favorite Brian De Palma film, as that is obviously Carrie, but it is certainly up there. Blowout is very close to flawless, though, so that should give you an idea of how good Carrie must be to beat out a film that is mostly without flaw. I love how Blowout is all about minutia. The film follows a sound designer for low-budget slasher films who, one night while recording sound in a park, captures a car accident that turns out to be something more, and only his audio is the smoking gun evidence that can reveal the cover-up. That's one thing I like about the movie a lot is it doesn't waste time with a big picture of who is participating in the cover-up. Again, because we're concerned with minutia, not the big picture of things. Jack and Sally are tiny cogs working on even tinier cogs in a very large machine, but it doesn't matter because, again, minutia. Jack's job is as a sound designer for film, and we have entire scenes dedicated to the minutia of his job cutting together and cutting apart quick one to three second sound effects for use in later films that hire him. It's it's written by De Palma, but also directed by him, which is why there is so much deep focus and stitched frames and interesting camera perspectives during pivotal scenes. For example, there's a scene where Jack is rifling through all the sound effects reels in his office, and the whole scene takes a few minutes, but the camera stays in the middle of the room and spins around and around, helping translate the growing anxiety of Travolta's character, Jack. This film is also the reuniting on film of Travolta, Allen, and De Palma since working together on the aforementioned Carrie back in 1976. Without spoiling anything directly, I will say that there is beauty and deep sadness in the final act of the film with an ending that is so cynical and yet painfully honest underneath that it is still hard to stomach as a viewer. This film gets swept under the rug quite a bit, so if you haven't seen it and you're a De Palma fan or a Hitchcock fan, you really owe it to yourself to watch it at least once. I'm giving Blowout an A because it is exceptional. Tomorrow we delve back into the 52 Crepe Crypto Nightmares with the film Edgar Allan Poe's Madhouse. See y'all then.